video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Crew Mate episode. And today, we're going to be looking at another one of the up and coming players in the world of football. And today, that player is Jonathan. So, yeah, sorry guys, can you just hang on for a sec? Yeah, can you just pass me that tea really quick? Yeah. Yep. Thanks, love. Ta. This big young gun has become another brilliant centre back pickup in career mode, and there are so many of them, and we continue to add to the huge, huge pile of ridiculously good, high potential centre backs in this game, but he is another one. Jonathan Tarr, and he's definitely become a very, very popular choice. Currently playing for Bayer Leverkusen, while he doesn't necessarily boast incredible pace for a defender, or incredible, to be honest, defending attributes, he does have a few things over a lot of centre backs, like for example, his very imposing height, six foot four and 90 plus strength. And on top of that, he's got a growth of plus 13. He's 75 overall and a potential of yes, 88. It's absolutely mental. He also boasts a lot of other very, very crazy stats. Like, for example, he has four-star weak foot. That's insane. But anyway, let's get into those stats more in depth. So here we are with Jonathan Tarr. Let's take a look at them stats. As I said before, the pace isn't exactly crazy. It's mid-60s, which is okay, but that strength at 91 and being six foot four would be crazy. You've got the heading accuracy and the marking, which is around that high, or should I say mid-60s as well, which will, of course, reflect his 75 overall. And then again, that's the same with his defending and his tackling. So that is still pretty decent, but the six foot four, four-star weak foot, which is crazy, that strength as well, only being 19 years of age and the 88 potential, of course, you know he's got the spec. Uh, the strength, speciality, and no trait either. That's what makes him such a prospect and a real exciting pickup. So let's begin then. Another 2025 episode with another ridiculously good centre back in the game this year. And finally, in our first season, in a, in, a, in a while, we've honestly had some pretty underwhelming starts with players, but not anymore. Jonathan Tarr, plus three immediately. No growth to the physical attributes. It's all been mental and technical. And boy, those technical attributes have come along well, haven't they? I mean, to be fair, despite being a centre back, he does have some very ordinary technical attributes apart from defending, but it's good to see they're at least all going up in some way, at least plus two or plus three. It's great to see. But anyway, Jonathan Tarr, 20 years of age and 78 rated if you don't mind. I certainly wouldn't mind keeping this going. So please, Jonathan Tarr, if you don't mind, keep it up. How about it? In the next one, it's going to be a plus one. Okay. And again, we have the same issue that we seem to be having with a few players right now. We get mental growth and then nothing else. It's just one season where you just get the mental attributes being increased, which is unfortunate, or at least being indicated from what we can tell. No technical attribute growth and physical attribute growth. It's all mental, only going up to 79 in this one. He's gone to bad morale, or should I say bad form and unhappy morale. So unfortunately, he's taken a bit of a turn in our second season. But can we steer the ship with him? We've got one more season until we go all the way to 2025. So how about it? Jonathan Tarr, in his final season, it's another plus one and boy he's only going up by one overall but i tell you what the physical the mental and the technical everything's going up and some of those stats by plus two plus three how he only has a one overall increase i'm quite surprised by but hey that's fine he's back to okay morale or content morale he's got good form on him as well gone up to the 80s and only 22 years of age that's sensational to see his strength, by the way, is now up to 93, if you don't mind. But anyway, there you go. Jonathan Tarr, we're done for the first three seasons. Now, let's go all the way with him to 2025. So here we are, 2025. Jonathan Tarr, he had a great start going by plus three in his first season. He then slowed down, of course, to only go up by one in the second and third. But has he been able to get to that very high potential of 88? Let's find out. What's his rating in 2025? He sort of in a way has, but in his final season, he's gone down back to 87. That hurts. Oh boy, that hurts. He has technically gotten to his potential. We can say that we can absolutely say that he has made it to 88. That is what we can say with absolute certainty. But unfortunately, he ends the 2025 season with 87. I think it, in my eyes, I'm going to take it as a win. I'm going to take it. It still counts. He got to 88. He may only be 87, but that's okay. There you go. Jonathan Tarr. Let's take a look at some of the stats, the stats that matters, the heading accuracy, the marking, the slide tackle, and the stand tackle are all at least 90 rated apart from the heading accuracy, which is so, so close. Only 89. The strength is at 94. The pace has gotten a little bit better. And some of those ball control and dribbling stats and some other technical attributes have definitely gotten much, much better. Good luck ever trying to beat him in an aerial battle, unless you've got like bloody Ibrahimovic or God knows who. But either way, that is it for this episode. Thanks you guys for watching another 2025 episode. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what play you want me to do next. And until the next time, guys, my name is Master Bucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye. Shake